Hey guys, welcome back to another Let's Draw. And for our last drawing for Bug Week, we are going to draw a praying mantis, which I think is really cool. Um, just like the other bug drawing we did this week, I would start with pencil first because there are just like a lot of little parts of insects. So you'll probably have to erase some things and then grab whatever colors you want to color yours in and let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a little curve for the top of the head. And then on each side, you're gonna draw a big oval because they have those really big eyes. Then underneath, you're going to make kind of a rounded V shape to finish off the shape for the head. Then for the body, you're going to draw kind of a long oval And the rest of the stuff we're about to start drawing, if you do it in marker, the legs are gonna have the lines going through. I'm gonna keep using marker because I know it's easier to see, but I would use pencil. I'm gonna start by having a line that just kind of goes straight out a ways. And then the bottom of this part, it goes down and then kind of turns and comes back and we'll have that be a little rounded. Then starting at this part where it turns, you're going to make a curved line that goes out and then just make a little angled line like that to connect. In this section here, we're gonna do a few curved lines. And then just underneath, you're gonna make another kind of curved piece like that. Now we're gonna work on the legs. So again, if you're doing pencil, keep going with pencil because you will have to erase some of this. I'm just gonna have some overlapping lines and sorry for any extra noises, that's my cats. <laughs> so right next to this section here, we're gonna draw a curved piece like this. Then we're gonna draw kind of a big upside down V shape. So it goes up and then back down and I'm also gonna draw the foot. So it's like two kind of curved lines that are pointed at the end. So for this leg here now, now that we did the V, let's make it a little thicker. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make another line like that. And then on this side, another line. So it kind of bumps out and then goes back. These lines inside would get erased out later. Let's do the other back legs and then we will do the front claws. So for the other back leg, you're just gonna go a little bit over from here, make that upside down V shape because it's like the other leg on the other side, thicken it a little bit. And then the other leg and foot, you would just see a little bit there and that foot there. Then there's two more legs that go here. So let's go a little ways forward, maybe right about here where these two pieces connect. And you're gonna make an oval shape. And then we're gonna go out and then down. And we'll do a little curved foot. And then again, this one, let's thicken it up. So you're basically gonna just draw another line right next to it like that, there and there, so now it's thicker. And for the one that's in the back, um, I'm just gonna draw, starting right here, line that goes out, and then down, and I'll have the other foot kinda go behind. So this back leg can be tricky. If you're having a hard time, you can skip the back legs and people will still get the point, but see how they're kind of behind each other. And now let's do those big claws in front that are really impressive. So I'm gonna do this one here that's in front first. Oval. Kind of another oval shape. You can have it be a little pointed on the ends. And then those big claws. It's gonna curve over like that 
I'm gonna do kind of a curved V shape. And then it kind of just curves back up to connect there. For the other claw, I'm gonna draw another oval. And I'm gonna have this one kind of go up. And again, that very curved shape with the curved letter V. And there are my claws. Now I'm missing two little details. On the back here, there are some little spikes. So let's draw two straight lines that connect to make one little point and then another one there. And of course, the antenna on top. And if you want, you can draw their little pupils and their eyes. They actually do have pupils. They're not quite this big, but it does make it look kind of cute. And of course, once you have drawn your um, praying mantis, you can color it in. In real life, they're usually all green, but you can make it any color you want. And here is how I colored mine. So I went with the traditional green, but I did give it some yellow stripes and spots just for fun. You could color yours any way you want. Just take your time and have fun. All right, guys, I hope you had fun drawing your praying mantis with me today. I think bugs are a really fun thing to draw, and I would love to do more in the future. So let me know if there are any bugs that you want me to show you how to draw. And I will see you guys next week for our next drawing videos. Bye.